Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about mean absolute percentage error with the help of a numerical problem. But before going actually to the numerical problem and the formula, let's discuss it with the scratch. So in the previous video we have discussed about mean absolute error, mean squared error and root mean squared error, right? So in this video, we are going to carry it forward and going to discuss on mean absolute percentage error. So with the terminology itself, mean means average value of what error. Error is nothing but difference between actual value and forecasted value or predicted value, right? So the difference between actual value and forecasted value is error. Mean is average and absolute means we need to figure out in the terminology of percentage. So basically MAPE, basically mean absolute percentage error is a kind of evaluation metric to figure out the accuracy of any forecasting model. Why? To, to figure out accuracy that up to what accuracy it is forecasting the things, right? Normally we utilize it in the domain of business and economics just like you can say that in finance domain we use it majorly because it measures the average magnitude of error as a percentage of actual value as a percentage of actual value and we can just conclude that this particular model is forecasting this particular error uh, with uh, this uh, this model is that much accurate for forecasting stock market or this model is that much accurate for figuring out the fraud or risk management, whatever, right? So that is the thing. Okay, now let's go to the formula. Now, this is the formula in front of you, mean absolute percentage error. That is the difference of actual value and forecasted value with comparison of actual value with respect to actual value, where AT is nothing but actual value at time T, FT is nothing but forecasted value at time T, and n is total number of observations. Now let's go to the problem. Here you are having some uh, <clears throat> some actual values. Uh, this is our actual sales data at a particular time t1, t2, t3, t4 and this is our forecasting data at time t1, t2, t3, t4. So basically in month one this is our actual sales versus this was the forecasted value. In month two, this is our actual sales versus this is our forecasted value. In month three, this is our actual sales versus this is forecasted value. And in month four, this is our actual sales versus forecasted value. Now we need to figure out the mean absolute percentage error, right? So mean, what is the accuracy of this model? If we are going to figure out, then we are taking the matrix as a map, M-A-P-E. Now. Uh, before going to the map, uh, we need to figure out, uh, you can say that mean ups, uh, absolute errors, right? So what is absolute error? So for absolute error at time T1, that is in month 1, it would be 100 uh, minus 110, that is 10. In month 2, the absolute error is 120 minus 115, that is 15. In month 3, the absolute error is 130 minus 125 that is 5 right 5 and in month 4 the absolute error is 140 minus 130 that is 10 this is our absolute error now if we go to the mean absolute percentage error then uh, just we can do the thing that uh, 10 what is the actual value 100 into 100 that is 10 percent this is the percentage error this is the percentage error for forecasting the data of sales in month one. Okay, in month one. In month two, uh, the difference is 5 divided by actual value 120. So it would be uh, 4.17. Okay, I need to multiply with 100. It would give me 4.17%. So in month two, the error percentage of forecasting is 4.17. Okay, in month three, third month, the difference of actual value and forecasted value is 5 divided by actual value that is 130 multiply with 100. So the percentage error here is 
3.85% and in month 4 uh, the difference is 10 and the actual value is 140 multiply with 100 it is going to give me 7.14% right okay so as of now uh, you we have just uh, calculated we have just calculated that the absolute error and here is percentage error percentage error right this is our percentage error now finally we are coming to the mean absolute percentage error so this is absolute error this is percentage error now for mean total number of observations 4 and the sum of all percentage error that is 10 percent plus 4.17 percent plus 3.85 percent plus 7.14 1.4%. So the final answer it will give me 6.29%. 6.29%. So what conclusion we can made? We can make a conclusion that this model of forecasting the value is having 6.29% fluctuations while forecasting the sales data. Right. So MAP provides a straightforward way to understand average forecasting error. So what is the average forecasting error? 6.29% average forecasting error of this model, right? So uh, this is the percentage average forecasting percentage error of the actual values, which is making it useful for comparing the performance of different forecasting models or accessing the overall accuracy of a model across multiple time periods, right? So I hope the concept of uh, mean absolute percentage error is clear. Guys, please do subscribe the channel, like the video and comment your thoughts and share it among your colleagues so that it could be beneficial for all researchers community as well as all the persons who want to just figure out such kind of knowledge. Thank you so much guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.